I did not part my hair with any science. I genuinely just was like, more locks, please give me more locks because 78 on my big head was just not covering all of the area that I needed. <laughs> y'all it's strange cheese and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a highly requested video about my lock count i'm going to be counting my locks for y'all i have two scrunchies and some clips behind the camera i have not counted my locks in, in at least a year i haven't changed them but i can tell you that i started off my locks with 70 something two strand twists and then I did not like that set of locks and I undid those twists and I retwisted them. So this is what my hair is looking like just a few days after the last video I posted. Um, I'm going to do that curly look again, but as you can see it failed. But I do like how it stretched out my hair. It's really, really cute. Gives it a, that illusion of fullness that I love. But let me get started. This is going to take forever. Uh, I don't ever do my hair in a middle part because I don't have one because I don't like middle parts. I haven't, look at that. Oh, mm, I've never been a middle part girl. I just don't like it. My forehead is just really big and I just do not be feeling like looking like that. Because I'm telling you, boy, boy, I tell you, I have not counted my hair in forever. Ever since I got comfortable with my look and I got comfortable with the amount that I had, Cause I counted that first time. I believe you me, I counted that first time. But ever since I've like gotten comfortable, it's just not been a priority of mine. So I know the back is chunkier for sure. Mm. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven. Let me, let me just. So this is 30. This is 30. So it claims to be that it's 30. I'm gonna just pull this over here this way. Like that, yeah. Over here we have 61. Like I said before, I don't have a middle part. I did not part my hair with any science. I genuinely just was like, more locks, please. So when I went through and redid my locks, there was no rhyme or reason. There was just maintain the edges and the, um, what is this, perimeter. Maintain the perimeter and the edges so that your hair does not break off and be gentle in the crown because that's like my thin area and the back just just the back is the back like i literally had that attitude the back is the back so i'm gonna move this section out the way like you see so this is probably like 40. all right give myself a little top knot like that like boot 61 let's count let's count let's count Apparently this is 47. This is 47 locks right here. So 47 plus 61 is 108. I'm a statistician, I should know that. I should have did that way faster. So 108 so far. So if I'm estimating, there should be 48 in this top knot. 61, 47, 108, there should be 48 there should be 42 in this top knot if i am doing my math correctly because i said between 140 and 150 i think the number was 150 i haven't counted it since i was in my beginner stages and my hair is super dirty and i'm gonna be retightening my hair soon um i don't actually really don't want to i've actually just been kind of like touching up the edges and when i say touching up i'm like 
twirling it in my finger for whenever I feel like it. But anyway, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's 20. So there should be 20 right here. Forty, forty-one, forty-one. Okay, so one hundred and eight plus forty-one, one forty-nine. I was right. I was correct. One hundred and forty-nine locks. Let me get my part back together because I don't like the way my hair looks down the middle. Um, I have one hundred and forty-nine locks. I thought it was one fifty, but I think you know what. I can tell you exactly what happened. I did start off at 150, but there was a lock and it still haunts me to this day. This lock here was two baby locks and you see how it's how far it is back in my hairline. This lock, that, that lock when it was two different locks would not have stood a chance. It would not have stood a chance because my hair is not like thin, but it's really fine. So if I were to over manipulate that area of my hair, both those locks would have popped out. I would end up with a bald spot right here on this side. And you see I already like cover this side anyway, because that lock is, one, this is just how I like to part my hair. Two, that lock is so chunky. It is so thick, but I prefer it to be that one thick chunky lock in the front than my hair to be bald in that area, which it has been in the past. When I was getting relaxers, when I was natural, when I was protective styling, these areas here were always the first to go, which is why my perimeter is as thick as it is. And that's why I have 149 locks and not 150 like I previously know I counted now that I confirmed that there are 149. So that's, these are my babies. They're really cute. I'm really liking how that style stretched it out and made it as full as it is because um, I don't know. I just thought my hair probably wasn't going to get fuller, but with time, I see it kind of getting, you know, more floofy, a little bit thicker, and I'm loving how it looks. You can tell that it's like it's very healthy, and I have goals for my locks. I got goals like this right here I have reached a goal and I've always said once my hair touches like right here like you can't really see my earrings and I'm like shoulder collarbone length it's curtains no one will be able to tell me anything about anything ever never don't talk to me because look at my hair look at these antennas look at these connections to the cosmos, like do not talk to me. I know that I am certain that I counted that right because I distinctly remember being very excited about an even number and then like harping about the two locks that I didn't get to combine in the front. And now that I've gotten this far, I'm not mad at it. I love how they look. The number really does not matter. That's another thing I wanna add. The number, like I said in my other video, doesn't matter. It just depends on the density of your hair, what kind of hair you have, how your coil curls conform into one lock. It just depends. Like when you see large, thick, fluffy locks, that person might have very, very thick and dense hair. When you see locks like mine, that person might have fine hair, but a bunch of fine strands that gives them an illusion of thickness. And there is no wrong way to cultivate your locks as far as I'm concerned. There is no wrong number. If you know for your head that 150 is too many, combine them. If you know in your mind that 68 is not enough, take them apart, do it again, start over, just cultivate the locks that you wanna have. I know for me in my one year anniversary clip, I showed y'all what my hair was looking like and I was not feeling it. I was not digging it. I did not like the, and it wasn't even about the number. It was genuinely about how it looked on my head. Like there's a lot of surface area here. And I knew that once my hair grew out, it wouldn't be what I wanted for myself. One thing I can say is it's much easier to combine locks than it is to detach locks. If you are someone who is not happy with the way your coils or two strand twists came out 
by all means, go to someone else or do them yourself. I don't have any problem with my loctician that started my locks, but she's located in Houston. That's another investment I have to make driving down there to get my hair done. I just decided to do it myself because I trusted myself to do so. If you have mature locks and you're ready to start over, do that. I know at some point, maybe, maybe, because I really like how they are right now. I know at some point maybe I might want to start over. I might want to cut my hair and start over with thicker locks and see how that looks or whatever. But I just know that your hair grows back until it stops growing back. Even if you are not in the business of patience and you want locks like this, there is instant locking. There are um, lock extensions. I am not somebody who is against either of those things because no one should be able to judge anyone else's journey with their natural hair and it's how they grows out of their head like the hair is going to continue to lock as it grows out it's whatever also i know that us as black people we take pride in our hair and our locks and if someone is not comfortable walking around with their twa beginner baby locks and they want lock extensions for 20 inches cool why not like let's not get into the business of judging people and how they cultivate their journeys because all of our lives are not the same all of our preferences are not the same all of our perspectives are not the same but that's it don't let me ramble on i just wanted to come here give you that quick lock video i know i started preaching a little bit but that's just what i do also and as well check out the video that will be coming right after this because i'm going to be talking about things that are important to me that i am passionate about and It'll probably be easier to talk about those things because I'm still learning how to talk about locks. Like I've only had them for a year and some change. So that's this is still like a gray area for me. I'm still new at this. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Peace.